tire is in place so now we need to try and sort out the steering so I'm using a 9 gram servo I'll just cut that there so it fits up there nicely I think I'll put the hot glue gun on and we'll put a bit of hot glue on it to hold it in place and we need a paper clip to link the steering to the servo servo hot glued in place that steering knuckle keeps splitting again I'll just say because all the layers are well top to bottom in this case of the screen top to bottom it means they split that way so I've just super glued it back together and it's sticking a little bit with the super glue I'm going to have to work on that A fair bit of slack here. So the steering may be a little bit um, challenging, but it works. I've got a 2S lithium ion battery in there because it happens to fit nicely so I should be able to fit that there fit that there and put the lid on better just check the motor runs that's struggling why is that struggling Oh, it's struggling because it's not plugged in. <laughs> yeah, minor little problem. Okay, motor plugged in. Okay. It's actually reversed. Okay, that's better. Okay, I think we're in a position where we can probably put all the bits together and give it a run. Right, bit of Velcro around the wires to hold them in place. Not sure what to do with the on off switch. Put that through there. All right, that looks like that'll work. Receiver on. Oh, got some wires fouling the steering. Don't want that. Push them out of the way. Okay, so we've got steering.
forwards, right, uh, left, okay, change the camera angle a bit, okay, reverse, yep, forwards, to say complete success we've even got some grip with those rubber tires the um, gears come loose or the teeth have gone let's have a look I think it might just be the motors loose Still working. Ah, there we go. I think it's just that we got a little bit of play in the motor. And it's, yeah, it's beginning to knock the edges off the teeth on the gear there. Still, it works. So, uh, thank you. What was his name again? Under. I can't remember what it was. Under something or other, wasn't it? So, his um, print in place. With a bit of modification worked for my Poundland toy car. Now I'll have to see if I can actually do what I started off doing, which was do it from scratch. 
I'm really annoyed, I can't remember what his channel name is. It'll be in the video description anyway, there'll be a link to his files and his videos. I'll put them in the playlist for this car. Under-engineered, was it? Because you usually talk about things being over-engineered, and I think he's called his channel under-engineered. And that trick with the rubber tyres worked. The, um, Wilco quick repair tape. Stretched it and wrapped it around. That stayed in place and it's picking up all the dust off the floor. Yeah. I'll call that one a success. Job done. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.